Hey everyone, and welcome back to another episode by Solid Shell Security. Alright, what we're going to be doing today is we are going to be talking about colorizing the shell. Alright, a quick example. Let's say we want to take a quick look at the root. And as you can see, we've got your reds, your blues, your directories, and your greens that show the executions. So, what we're going to do is we're going to talk about how to change those colors. For some of us, uh, we have many, many different monitors, and based on contrast, light, brightness, some of them are harder to see on the black. So we're going to talk real quickly how to change them. I should also mention that this is for like Red Hat, CentOS, Fedora. Um, if you're going to be like using Debian or Ubuntu, they have a different way of how to do things. Uh, that's going to be another video. This one's just going to be a quick one on CentOS. Uh, but real quickly, I'm going to show you where the file is located. Uh, okay. Let's see, where is it? Here we go. All right, it's going to be the directory colors. This is the master file, which means any user that logs in to SSH is going to use that file. Now you can do it individually, which is what we're going to do for the root account, is we're going to copy copy it over. Uh, so what you want to do is you just want to copy it. Uh, hold on, I thought I had the command. Let me recopy this here. There we go. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy it into the home directory, and I've already been messing around with it. So, got that. Now I'm going to edit. It's not too difficult. You, it's pretty simple as you can tell. So scrolling down right here, this is the main one. Files are just simple. There's just no coloring to them. Directories bold and blue. So let's say we wanted to make them purple. You know, we just make this like a 35. Uh, symbolic links, they're like uh, like cyan, I think. Yeah, the cyan. So you have the ability to customize, and you can also add uh, characteristics to them too, if you wanted to. And that right there is going to make it like bold, underline. You can add blank, reverse, conceited. Uh, you can also have background colors. You have the ability to completely colorize everything. You can also go down and even do it individually for different file types. So if there's a file type you want to stand out over other ones, um, you have that capability. So what we've done right now is all we've done is we've just changed the directory colors because the blue is a little difficult to see on one of the monitors. So we're going to go ahead and save that. And as far as I know, you have to exit out and log back in to... SSH. Um, if someone knows otherwise, let me know. But as far as I know, you have to log in again. So we're going to go ahead and log back in to the New York server 15. Root it up. Let's type the password in. And, uh, let's, and there we go. As you can see, we've edited the file. So anytime you log into root, you're now going to see the directories as cyan, bold, and underlined. And as you can tell, they stand out so much better than the dark blue on a black. So this really, really makes it so much easier, you know, should we want to actually, you know, start editing something. So... I, I don't know about you guys, but I'm really, really, really starting to actually feel this right now. The whole underline for the directories and how it just stands out. So, you know, the files there, you guys can edit how you want, so you don't have to be running the defaults all the time. You know, you can colorize them, link them up, you know, however you want to do it. So you got a lot of customization here. And if you're like me and you're like in Shell, like, half the day, you know, you don't have to be squinting, trying to figure out, okay, what color is that? Is that, is that file directory? What directory? And so, yeah, I mean, I for one just am loving this and enjoying it, so I definitely encourage everyone else to do that. Um, for Debian, though, you have to actually look that one up. I don't have that at the top of my head. 
but they do it in a different way, so you have to figure that one out. But all in all, this is actually a pretty cute little hack, so, you know, check us out later. Meow.